Hey you two, how are you good people doing out there? Hell, it's Friday, how are you bad people doing? How's everyone doing? It's a hot day here, about 95 so far, it's still a little bit early, but that's why I'm shooting inside here. This is the storeroom for eBay. Okay, I've not really been doing any building yet this week. Just been doing a lot of fixing, a lot of upgrading, stuff like that. See, I've been struggling with my CNC for about seven months now. And I would call tech support about every month. And they would keep telling me it was a post processor. And they would email me a new one. That worked for about a month. But then it would stop again. So finally I worked for about four or five months. And then I was cutting a piece of walnut yesterday, or not yesterday, uh, Monday. I was going to make another piece of walnut. And I decided to use MDF to test the piece first. It's a good thing I did. Let me show you why. It started cutting. Oh. It started cutting. Cut everything out and stop right here. And just go to the left. I don't know why. I have no idea why I would do that. And this isn't the only piece that did it on either. But good thing it was MDF. Because if those walnut, I would have been upset. Because I've lost, oh god, I don't know how many pieces of good wood trying this. I don't know why really. I emailed tech support. And I told them, hey, I need another first processor. Uh, this time I talked to a guy, his name is Pete, and he said he didn't sound like a post-processor problem to him because I showed him a picture. I'll show you the picture I took. And he said it didn't sound like a post-processor problem to him. He said it sounded more like a firmware problem. Firmware. I forget how he phrased exactly, but... He was, essentially he was telling me he didn't think it was a post processor. Post processor is a, is this, I don't know how to explain what a post processor is, but it's what interprets the G code to your CNC machine. And I was a little skeptical of how he, and I said, but he, he did, he sounded like he knew what he was talking about. He knew stuff. He's not like some of the other tech support guys I bring now. He knew what was going on. Instead of sending me a link to a new post processor, to a new post processor, he sent me a link to download a firmware update that will also update my software from my CNC. Essentially new firmware a new control an update for my control and the LCD I use. So I had to go out there, unhook that from my CNC, bring it in, hook it up to my heart, my my computer in the house. It was just a nightmare. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be a nightmare if I had it, my computer already outside. But and I must have not beat the death because all my simplistic questions. I mean, but hey, I'm still making payments on my CNC and I wanted to make sure it was right. So I hope you forgive me, Pete, if you're watching. I'm sorry, bud. After I updated, ran a test on another piece of NDF. This is what came out. It came out right. It was a rush job. It was supposed to be done yesterday, but I went and talked to her and she said it's fine and you have it done for her on Monday. So, whew, that's lucky for me. So I will say Pete was right. And it's that upgrade fixed all my machine's woes. I mean, for now anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen long term. But now I'm happy because it's the first time in, like I said, seven or eight months, I can just go out there and not worry about my CNC. I can set it, get it to cut it, and go. I don't have to keep an eye on it. And for those of you who might be running into the same problem, 
you have to get the CNC control panel version 1.0 build 76. I haven't really been on the shop, so I don't have any shop builds for you this week. I wish I did. But tune in next week. I'll, I'll definitely have you going out. I have one out maybe this weekend for the sign I'm doing. Okay? Like and subscribe if you have a chance. And support our troops. And thank a veteran for his service. And I'll see you next time. Which should be, should be Monday.